Thank you, Madam Chair. And again, I'd like to thank you for uh, this important hearing. I, I believe it's very important that we educate uh, members of Congress uh, before we make public policy that will affect our nation as uh, some of the proposals uh, that we're, we're hearing about will. Uh, my question is to Chief Fisher and Mr. McAleen. And, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, we could, we could build fences across the entire country, north and south. Uh, we could protect our coastlines east and west. But almost half of the people that are in this country illegally didn't come in that way. And it's important that I keep repeating this because I, I believe that it's a missing piece to how we determine whether our borders are secure. So I, I think it's very important for everyone to, to accept the fact that uh, visa overstays are just as important as protecting our borders north and south. Uh, a person that sneaks across the southern border until El Paso and takes an American job is no different than somebody who overstays a visa and takes an American job. It's no different if someone crosses the border into Arizona and plants a bomb somewhere or someone who overstays a visa and plants a bomb. So I think there's a missing piece to this uh, when we talk about whether our borders are secure. So even if Secretary Napolitano would, would declare that our, our borders are secure, I would argue that our borders are not secure, are not secure until we also deal with the fact that visa overstays are part of our national security responsibilities. So my question uh, to Mr. Fisher and Mr. McAleenan, how do we fix this? And we're talking a lot about how do we protect our borders, and are you coordinating with ICE? Uh, and, and, and how do we, what, what are some ideas that we might be able to impose uh, to solve that problem? Thank you, Congressman. It, it, it is an important issue, and I think from the Secretary on down, it's, a, it's an important focus for the Department of Homeland Security and certainly for CBP. We are absolutely uh, coordinating with ICE uh, and with the Department of State uh, to really address this from the early origination of, of the problem, from when people are applying for visas, uh, when people are applying as visa waiver country travelers uh, to come to the United States, assessing those applications for risk at our National Targeting Center together with State and ICE, who are joining us to look at the same data with the, the best intelligence and our advanced techniques. So we're, we're starting now much earlier in the process at the outset. I, I think the Secretary and others have defined uh, the, the security process as, as critical at each juncture, before, before the visa is issued, at the port of entry, uh, assessing admissibility, uh, following up, identifying and following up if there are overstays, and, and of course enforcing the laws uh, on, on employers who, who, put, who put people to work who are here out of status. Do you, do you agree, though, that, all that, those things. that should be included when we assess whether or not our borders are secure, that we also include whether or not we can track people in and out of the country uh, when they overstay their visas? I believe it is included, yes. Thank you.